just want to say, I just want to say thank you to everyone that uh, left a comment uh, for the Q&A in the last episode. Um, really appreciate it. As I say, I'm gonna be picking a gonna be picking two winners at the end of this video, so stay tuned. So I just want to talk to you about where we are with the bike now. Uh, I've done a few things since last episode, the last bike episode. Um, so let's just roll you through it now. You can probably see I have actually made a bit of progress on the seat. I have, uh, I've actually made a fiberglass extension that fits nice up against the tank. Uh, if I just remove that. Uh, you can see I have a couple of layers of fiberglass. It looks a bit messy underneath. It looks a little bit messy underneath, but as you can see, uh, I've done a few layers of fiberglass, shaped it so it fits over the uh, tank nut and the actual tank itself. Um, I still needed like kind of trim, trim around the edges and stuff. But I mean, the shape is there. Um, what I had to do was. Uh, Pile on a load of fiberglass and like mat it over and then get just l get the layers up and then um, trimmed round um, all the excess off. Then I had to I got the grind around, flatten it all down just to give it the, the the base shape. And that is where we are now. In today's episode, we are going to get this finished. Yeah, a few of you weren't happy with my filling skills, and I you've got every right to be a bit mad. Uh, I did whack it all on a little bit too thick, I know I did, but um, you can see now that I've just gone over all the low spots. Um, and it's looking looking a bit bit nicer. I've still got to smooth it all out and everything, but I'm not doing that until I've got them everything joined together. So, this episode we need to join them two pieces together. We need to uh, finish off smoothing this over so it's one continuous piece. and. We need to fill in this gap here. I've already made a cardboard. I've already made a cardboard uh, template, and I've just got to put that on, trim it down a bit, put it in the inside, and then uh, fiberglass over, and let that dry. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting this seat finally finished. Well, well, the seat base anyway, because once we've got that done, we can then focus. We can then work hard on getting the actual cushion part of the seat made have that all finished before we move on to the next little thing. So, let's crack on. Yeah, my style is a pain. Hopping out the wraith with money on the brain. South Cali, here it don't rain. Girls look good and she got her own range. I'm low key, coming up to OG. Sipping on OJ, coughing off OG. Ride around slowly, you the one that know me. When I turn OJ, trial for a body. Cause keep it cool is a hobby. All I wanna do is break rules in the Audi. Cockpit cloudy, team getting rowdy. Hungry for a check, cops come, we outie. Right now we on standby. But any minute we can set off the landslide. And bury your whole land just like Pompeii. When it comes to getting mine, do it all day. Rigid and hard. I'm gonna just trim off the excess, um, see what gaps need filling in, and then uh, either reinforce this a bit more. There's no, there's not gonna be anything on this. It's literally just to, to make a nice, just to fill in the blank basically. Um, yeah, so trim it up. See if I need to reinforce it. If that's not the case, and I can I skim a filler over it and have this nice end back end part of it finished. You can still see the cardboard cut here, so that's a nice indicator of the cutting line I need to take. So uh, let's just have a go. Uh, yeah, learning curve. The dog's found his speaker. Oh. Right, so I've skipped ahead a little bit because I didn't really want to bore you with the same process over and over and over again, which is like fiberglassing, layering, uh, sanding, you know, just, yeah. So, uh, done all that, and then I gave it a skim of uh, filler. 
and uh, I've kind of like this is the second skim I've over I've given it just to kind of like finish finish it off and get it flat. The, the, it is all high here, but uh, it's still quite soft. And while it's in the soft state, as someone left in the comments that um, you can still kind of like when it's not quite fully hardened, you can still sand it down and just makes the life a lot easier. So I'm going to give that a try now. Um, try and flatten it all off, shape the inside a little bit, and then go and see how it fits. Ooh! I will be glad to see the back end of this job. I tell you that now. Still above it. I don't want any more to do any more body work. I'm finished with filler and fiberglass, and I just can't stand it any longer. Looking at it, I've just got a few low spots. I'm doing, not doing too badly though. I've just got to take a little bit more off the inside here. So I can, I've got the fiberglass shape. But it is looking a bit messy past this point. Ooh, body work. So I've, um, so I've got the seat back on and in position. And you can see, I had to do a little bit of trimming just to kind of get the shape. There's a little, there's a gap here, but I mean, I'm not going to worry about that because it is on the underside of the bike. There's still a few little spots here which I just need to touch up, but I mean, that's... But I'm just so happy with how it follows the line and it just kind of like finishes this back end off. So... So now we've got this part finished and this is, uh, you know, it's... There's a few bits here and there which obviously need sanding down. I still need to sand out all this down properly and get rid of all these bits. This is the bit that's going to be painted, this is the bit that's going to be shown, all this. This is going to be covered on a seat, um, but this is the bit I need to work on now. I need to, as you can see here, as you can see I've got this uh, butted up to the tank quite nice. There's not really much of a gap, I've just got to round the corners off a bit. Um, I need, just need to get this the same level as that now and then I can skim a filler over it and just make that one nice, make it one uniform piece then. So that's my next task. What do you reckon, dog? Yeah. Right, I promise this is going to be the last time I show you some body filler. Let's just crack on. So that is what it's looking like. Yes, it looks absolutely horrible and an absolute monstrosity, but I don't care. I'm learning. I'm doing it myself. If it works, it works, and that's all that matters to me. Leave it out, leave it out, leave it out. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I have, I think I've had enough with this, uh, with this job. I don't know if you can, uh, if you want to have a look at that, it's, there's still a few bits here and there, I need to kind of like neaten these edges up and there's a bit of a gap there, but as I say, this is all getting covered, but that's going to be flat enough. This bit here is the high point, which I knew was going to be high, because that's where the bolt is, if you look underneath. Um, but it does, it just kind of keeps it smooth. <sighs> I hate, I seriously hate, I'm, I'm fed up of this job now though. But there you go. A real low profile kind of seat made for me, by me, for me. So what I need to do now is, well you can see I'm covered in powder, um, finish smoothing it down, go over any little spots that's left, Add a layer of primer, probably going to go with the two-pack primer, a nice thick primer, and then uh, sand that down, and then that is going to be it for this video. And then that is going to be it before sending it away to be upholstered. There's a few ideas I've got for the uh, upholstery, so stay tuned, honestly, it's worth it. So yeah, let's go and give it a quick coat of primer.
So we have finally got the seat cut, the seat, uh, blah, blah, blah. We got the seat base finished as you just, uh, blah, 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 blah. So we have finally just got the seat base finished as you've just seen. There's a few little imperfections here and there that like pinholes and like flat uh, low spots and all that. But I'm not going to bother uh, showing you them little fin finishes anyway. So now we've got the seat base finished, hopefully I can then work on getting the actual seat finished itself and having a cushion made for it. So we're nearly there. I'm going to finish the video now. So as always, if you could like the video, give it a thumbs up. That's always helpful. Subscribe. So you probably thought I'd forgotten about the uh, competition giveaway. No, I've just had a new one. So I've uh, picked the winners uh, at random through a random number generator and the winners are Chief Rius Tater and someone called Glenn Moore. So all you got to do is comment down below and I will drop you a message and I will get these hats shipped out to you. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I shall see you in the next video. Peace.